I'm pleased to recognize the gentle lady from California, the Democratic leader, uh, Nancy Pelosi. The gentle lady from California is recognized for one minute. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the gentleman for yielding. I rise in support of the legislation and commend uh, Congresswoman Sewell and Congresswoman Roby for their leadership in bringing this to the floor and giving us oppor the opportunity to speak about the heroes amongst us. Uh, in some of the darkest hours of our nation's history, as we all know, there are story courage. By preserving these stories, which this legislation enables us to do, we ensure that those who come after us will know that the cause of equality is both our nation's heritage and our hope. Unsurpassed in courage uh, in our midst is our colleague, the conscience of the Congress, Congressman John Lewis. On March 17, 1965, as many of us all know, Congressman John Lewis uh, was a leader of 600 peaceful, orderly Americans crossing the Edmund Pettus Bridge. He was met by state troopers, tear gas, bull whips, and nightsticks. Although he faced great prejudice and discrimination, he was not embittered. He was emboldened to dedicate his life to the cause of justice and equality. It is a great privilege for each of us to serve with John Lewis in Congress, uh, an honor to call him colleague. It was one, uh, I was, and I want to speak about uh, his uh, leadership in taking so many members of Congress and their families and friends across the Edmund Pettus Bridge uh, in recent years. I had that privilege to join him in the year 2001. After the visit, I said to him of the three-day, we were in your district, Congressman Roby, to, uh, in Montgomery and Selma and in Birmingham in the course of the weekend. And the experience was one that every school child in America should experience. We talk about Washington, D.C. and Philadelphia and Independence Hall and Baltimore and the uh, uh, Fort McHenry and Boston with all of that history in New York and the rest. But this is a very important part of who we are as a country. And if you want to learn about America, it's important to visit these sites, to see the courage, to see the commitment to the values of our founders that were so courageously uh, defended and advocated for at this sad time. And for many of us, it was in our lifetimes that this disaster was happening in our country, this ongoing disaster, but the culmination of it, where it took so many people a longer time to see. We always talk about the inevitable in the minds of some and the con inconceivable in the minds of others and how our work is to shorten the distance between the inevitable and the inconceivable. Well, it took some people a much longer time to understand what was inevitable for America, of that we would be moving, gravitating toward a more perfect union. That would not have been possible about, without the leadership of people like John Lewis. There aren't many people like John Lewis, but who followed his lead. And member, other members of Congress who also were leaders in a national, uh, nation civil rights movement, and we honor all of them today. They include Assistant Leader Jim Clyburn, who was arrested several times for his civil disobedience on behalf of civil rights. Congressman Barney Frank and Congressman John Conyers, who both volunteered during the Freedom Summer. Congressman Bob Filner, who spent several months in jail after his efforts as a Freedom Rider, and he takes great pride in being invited back to the reunion of the Freedom Riders. Congressman Eleanor, Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton, who was an organizer of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, and Congresswoman, Congresswoman Terry Sewell, who along with Congressman, Congresswoman Roby is a co-sponsor of this legislation, uh, as uh, 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 Congresswoman Sewell is from Selma, and her family opened their home to travelers on the 1965 march from Selma to Montgomery. Sure, there are more, but all of these people played a role. John Lewis, of course, uh, an icon in our country for his leadership at that time. These members of Congress, American history uh, heroes, made history. They also made progress for our country. I urge my colleagues to join in supporting this legislation to ensure that our history and our hero and the heroes of it, uh, that, that that history lives on long after we are gone. With that, Madam Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my. The gentlelady yields back. The gentleman from Georgia reserves. The gentleman from California is recognized.